Not like it. I'm not liking how we, I'm not liking the delay, but not I get delay. Yeah. But I guess I got to get used to it. Okay. Uh, hang on. Let me look at it. All right. Hey, everybody. Good evening. This is Shy Panther and Friends. I'm your host, Shy Panther. And we're here with, how do you say your name? Aikisha Coleman. Aikisha Coleman of Sonye Vogue Boutique. Swanye Vogue Boutique. Swanye. Swanye, yep. It's a French word. <laughs> okay. Um, so everybody, I'm just uh, getting a little bit used to our connections here. Hang on one second, because we got like this huge delay. I don't like that. One moment. All right, let me see. I am not liking this. How can I? Live. Yeah. Okay, I know what I'll do. <laughs> So I'll feel a little bit more comfortable. Hang on. Mm -hmm. um, join. We'll just keep moving. I'll get back to that in a second. All right. So tonight <laughs> is April 23rd. I think we froze a little bit. Tonight is April 23rd, 2020. And um, we're in the middle of a pandemic. Of course, we all know that. And it is quite a challenge, especially for small businesses and in our own, um, you know, our own everyday life. So, Isha, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, because I'm looking at a screen that appears frozen to me. So it is really annoying me. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, sorry. Yes. Yeah, okay. I can see and hear you. You moving? You not froze? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's what I I uh, I have to get used to it if I'm going to do it right. <laughs> yeah, get yeah, acclimated. Oh it's our new our new norm. Oh my <laughs> god! Is it a normal? I I don't know. But um, <laughs> but yeah, I know that you know it's affecting us uh, personally, professionally, and small businesses are really taking a hit. Um, yeah. So. You know, we've all been encouraging, you know, everyone to support small businesses. I'm trying to do my part, especially here on uh, Shy Panther and Friends show. That's been my thing from the very beginning to help to promote the uh, small businesses. So, um, so with that, I mean, we're gonna go and get into your um, the information about your show, and I mean about your show about your business. Mm -hmm. and about where people can shop with you and everything like that. But a little bit before we get to that, I'm going to share information about this show. We okay. normally go on radio and we usually broadcast from AM 1680 at Q4 and located in Chicago. But mm -hmm. um, because of the pandemic, we had to do something. And this is what we're doing with um, going live on YouTube or wherever else we can manage to get to. And um, our goal is to uplift, to educate and empower. And we do that by trying to provide entertaining uh, program as well, quality entertaining programming and bring on entrepreneurs so that people can learn about what people are doing. And in case they have been out there, they've tried it and they quit and they happen to check out one of the shows and say, man, I, you know, I really like what they're doing. They motivated me. I'm getting back into it. So these are the types of things that, you know, I'm hoping that I can continue. And I have gotten some feedback where people are telling me that's exactly what's happening, that they're, um, they're motivated from, from the show. So. Hey, everybody. Good evening. Oh, uh oh. Ah, <laughs> some cross talk there. But anyway, disregard that. Disregard any mistakes, people. <laughs> <laughs> As if you don't even hear it or see it <laughs> okay so um yeah that's what we try to do so it 
in, uh, in addition to uplifting, educating, and empowering, I'm happy to say that we do inspire mm -hmm. uh, people to get back out there and give it another try. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, we are listener supported. So if you feel it in any way <laughs> possible that you can help to donate to the show and to help to keep the, the show on, you can reach out to me at paypal.me slash shy panther. And you have any um, thing that you'd like to see on the show as well. You can also reach out shy panther media at gmail. It's one word shy panther media at gmail.com. And um, something else I wanted to tell you. Oh yeah, most important that we are an independent media organization. So uh, what you see on the show is, is just ideas that we've come up with and interactions from people that, you know, where we try to put things on that people are interested in seeing. So don't hesitate to reach out to us while we're here on the show and let us know what you think about what we're doing. So, Ms. Coleman, welcome, welcome, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank I'm so happy that you could um, take the time to, to get here with us. And what's happening? I know you're busy doing a lot of things. I've been checking out your internet, um, all of your products, and you look absolutely beautiful. You always do. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yes, yeah. well, um, I've definitely been busy uh, with my full-time job. <laughs> uh, yeah. um, um, a lot of my, uh, lately, my late fashion that I've been trying to get, I've been trying to get more things towards the summer because it looked like our spring is not, we're not going to have a spring outside. Mm -hmm. uh, so, um, my, uh, I only have an online business. My uh, boutique is only online, only, oh. no store. Um, you can check us out. Our website is uh, www.soignevogueboutique.com. Okay. Um, and the website just pretty uh, launched uh, last month. It launched the beginning of March. So <laughs> I'm excited about that. Yeah. Right before the pandemic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you know, isn't that something? That yeah. is really something that a lot of things, um, because I, I mean, for me, I had just started getting out and um, going to events, trying to, you know, become more visible so yeah. that I can get more people on the show. And then this happened. I know, so, that's the same thing I said. I was just getting out there. <laughs> the website launched, I think, March the 8th. And this happened shortly after that. Well, we got on lockdown March the 20th. So yeah. I just had launched my website. So the sales been kind of slow, of course, um, due to the uh, pandemic. But it's been going in slow motion. It's been going good. Prior to that, I was trying to uh, get my business out there. So I was doing a lot of networking events right. uh, and vendor shows and pop-up shops. Um, I started in November doing uh pop-up shops and vendor events so i've been doing it since november until march until this um covid19 happened uh so i'm looking forward to getting back out there once it's over do some more networking um more pop-up shops to get my business out and yeah. go, to get on my, go to my website more often yeah i forgot about the pop-up shops those are nice yeah very nice. yeah okay. i think i like those i like more being able to, for my customers to see the clothes, they can see the quality of it. Because sometimes online shopping, you got to build trust with people for online shopping. <laughs> they got to be able to know what product, what type of product you have first. Um, so I definitely like the pop-up shops and the vendor events. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting back to that. Right. And yeah, because um, now... How did you come up with the name? Um, I really was just trying not to use a, I didn't want to name it after me, no name, nothing cliche. I didn't want to say, you know, I didn't want anything cliche or name with my name in there, any initials. Uh, so I was just trying to think of something different that would stand out. And I like French words. <laughs> so, because I love words with hyphen hyphens on it. Oh, yeah. So um, I was just looking up different words and meaning. And uh, this word, soigné, mean uh, well-dressed, well-groomed. 
um, elegantly dressed. And then I just thought about the part, second part, Vogue, because I didn't want, it's kind of, I've seen some companies with Swanye, they're more in other countries. So I still didn't want just Swanye. So I'm like, it gotta be another name to go with it. And I had a dream, I literally had a dream and Vogue came up in my dream and I woke up like, Swanye Vogue. <laughs> so that's how I got the name and I put it together, Swanye Vogue. And you know, it really does help sometimes to sleep on it. When people say, I'll oh, just yeah. pray about it and sleep on it, that that actually really does work. Yeah, it definitely, it definitely works. So and then I had like I had a couple of names I came up with. I came up with probably with like three names I really like. So I asked some of my close, close friends and family, and they voted on it. But this was my number one choice. So I asked them and they voted on it, and this was the number one that everybody picked. So it's, it's nice. It's unique. I, I really like it. Thanks. And so, so how long you been in business, ma'am? I just started November, really. November 2019. Yes. Okay. So I'm, new. I'm a newbie. <laughs> so when I saw you, what was it? Was January? It was yeah, at the brunch? This year, I thought you had been working like had the shop out there for a couple of years. No, I just started November. It was official in November. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so I started you? just maybe, and I really didn't start prior to that long. It was official, official in November, but I want to say I kind of started like October, getting myself out there. I started my social media pages, putting a couple oh. items on the social media page. And um, then November, I got official. So, yeah. Oh. Okay. So I'm getting, I'm getting a little bit of interference with the audio. You get um, late. Okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, when I, when I met you, I saw your products and everything and I thought you just everything about your presentation and how you talked about your business. I just, I just took it that you had been in business for a little while. So this is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So, um, just since November, but had you done like little like fashion shows or different things to show your product before um, oh, no. November? <laughs> I literally started like with social media. Like when I made orders, I put uh, pieces on social media, so uh, Facebook and Instagram. And I, my first vendor show was first weekend in November. That was my first vendor show. And then I did a few of them after that. Um, but no. No, not prior to that. I mean, I always loved fashion. I always was into fashion since I was a little girl, actually. So I always knew I was going to have a boutique. I always knew that was going to be. It was just, I had to, uh, the timing was never right. Like I talk about it, think about it. And then years ago by, and then I started again talking and thinking about it. Right. And uh, in the last year, I really was thinking about it. Uh, my mom passed about a little over a year ago. And that's when I started thinking like, life is just too short. Like, just do it, just do it. Stop thinking about it. And I just, just got it. like, it, it's time, it's time, yep. And then with a friend push, you know, you have families and friends pushing you saying, yeah, you can do it. So um, after my mom passed, I just really was like, you know what? I think this is my time to do it. Life is too short. And why not go after what you want to do? Whether it work or not, you still, Succeed it if you fail or succeed, but um, and I enjoy doing it. Rather, I don't have to make a lot of money. I just enjoy, I enjoy helping people pick out clothes, outfits for special occasions. It just excites me. So it's not even really about the money, you know, money. Yeah. But of course, we all want to make some. <laughs> but um, I just enjoy putting stuff together, putting pieces together, finding somebody an outfit for their forty or birthday, things like that. I just like doing that type of okay. yeah okay because I was wondering about that um that that's pretty amazing that you always um well you started like when you were years ago saying that is something that you always knew you would have as a boutique so that's pretty cool and you hear a lot of people saying that it's kind of like they plant that seed and just nurture it yeah and grow. yeah mm -hmm. so and you're online based um mm -hmm. so 
I know you said that you've always loved, but I kind of want to ask, like, um, just from just from doing the few things, I always want to just ask, like, why why the boutique? Why not? Um, you know, why why was there? Did you have other interests or? Oh yeah, I got I got a couple of things I want to do. <laughs> I okay. love home interior decorating. Uh, home interior decorating. That's another thing that I want to get into. Um, and investing in real estate. So that's my next goal. I'm um, trying to do uh, property now. So now I've been saying that for years too. So <laughs> everything I just been like, do it, do it, stop saying it, do it. So I'm in the process of doing that now. I'm in the process of starting rental property, renting my uh, the home I currently own out and start. That's how I'm going to start. I said, I got to do it. So I'm uh, uh, working on that next. That's one of my next projects I've been working on. Um, and I love home interior decorating. I just basically help anybody. Like if they want me to help decorate their house, I be excited when people buy new houses. And when they say, I need you to help me, help me with my bathroom. I just love doing anything got to do with putting something together, putting colors together. Um, I like doing, help people with decorating parties. <laughs> I have a lot of different little things okay. I'm doing. Yeah. yeah. Because you make it seem so easy. And I want to, um, you know, so if somebody out there is thinking about doing the same thing as you, uh, what would you recommend that they do? Just decide what they, what, how they want to start. And what I should they I think they just need to make sure this their passion first. Because yeah. some people do stuff just because it's the new thing, it's trending, you know. But if it's not your passion, you're mm -hmm. not going to work hard at it. You know what I mean? You're not going to work hard at it. You're not going to put all your blood, sweat, and tears into it. I just think we all need to make sure what we want to do is our, truly our passion. Right. Um, because it'll, it'll, everything will fall in place. If it's your past, you're going to go hard for it. Like, you're going to do everything you got to do to get it started, up and running. I mean, I had many a nights I stay up late. Like I say, I work a full-time job, and it's kind of a demanding job. Uh, I manage oh, yeah, I manage the department, so that's demanding already. So I will work there eight, nine, ten hours, start uh, doing research for my boutique, looking for uh items I want to order. So I, I, be, I was up late I, when I decided the name, the logo, like I had to be up late two, three o'clock in the middle of the night uh, trying to decide what logo, who I'm going to use to do my logo. So it's definitely, you, you got to put, you got to put all your blood, sweat and tears in if you really want it to succeed or if you just, that's something you really want. So I just think everybody should always make sure that is their true passion before they trying to start a business. Because sometimes it's like, you don't want to start it or you don't want to begin to start it. And then you lose interest because you have some bumps in the road. But if it's your passion, no matter what bumps in the road you have, you're going to keep going, keep going. Right. Because um, the, just the fact that you said you have a full time job um, along with this, that that is almost unbelievable to me because I see a lot of what you do and it's pretty nice. And even even as far as the, the website and everything like that, there, uh, you put in quite a lot of work to get <laughs> that up and running. And yeah. that's commended. I am so serious because. At the time when I'm going to work, by the time I get home, I feel too tired to do anything. Um, yeah. But as you said, if it's your passion, you have to find it. You have to find that energy to get get in there and do what has to be done. Yeah. yeah. So that, I think that's pretty cool that you do so much um, on a regular basis. So yeah, I work for. I'm I'm all positions. <laughs> I'm the the uh, shopper, the looking for the items. I'm the website designer. I'm the marker. I say I got like 10 positions within Soye Vogue. So I literally did stayed up many and many a night. So it was like, I, I was like everything. I was 10 different positions <laughs> in the beginning. You did your website too? Yeah, well, well I, had, I had a little help with my website. 
but they did basically like the initial setup. So I had mm -hmm. to go in there, um, tweak it, add whatever pitch cover pictures I wanted, write all my descriptions, upload each item, the material. Like I had to literally look at each piece to see what type of material there was. I put all that in there. And it took me, I was working on a website for a minute. I, I'm not, it took a couple months with the website. That was my biggest task. Yeah. Yeah. And I knew nothing about it, but I'm, it was one of those e-commerce platforms. So it was kind of, it's, it's, it's not easy, but it's not, it's not something that's straightforward either. So, and I'm not real good at computer stuff like that, that type of stuff. But uh, I pushed through, did a lot of YouTube uh, tutorials. <laughs> so that's something you really do have to do a ton of YouTube. Ton tutorials. of YouTube tutorials, yes. I did that for months. <laughs> continue to do it like it's still changes I make now to my website and I'm like oh okay now I get this I mean some things now on the website I want to do that I got to just keep watching the tutorial to get better at it mm -hmm. uh, but yeah it's a work in progress okay so um now back to the clothes uh you have some pretty nice pieces and I want to say um especially for for African-American women or women who who have curves mm -hmm. you have beautiful clothes that really accentuate us in the way that they should so is there I'm, I'm wondering can you like show us a little bit I'm trying to see mm -hmm. I'm still feeling around um because something happened over here that I did not want to happen mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but um that's that's how it goes with technology I know so, <laughs> so uh i don't know how well you if, we, if you show us something how well we can actually see it yeah i can i can show you a couple pieces uh, okay i think i'm gonna try something really quick um, okay what are you doing you want me to show you? okay right. let me try some uh, no let's see that's not what i'm doing Okay, well, I don't want to knock everything out, so we'll just keep going. <laughs> okay. Are you good? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. And it's just that, you know, of course, it's a delay. So that is so bananas to me, the delay. Yeah. I got I, used to that because I am so not liking it. Okay. It, on my end, it's okay. I, I don't think I have a delay. I am trying to see. Because here, um, actually, all I have on my screen is my YouTube. And I don't have my Zoom. Like the Zoom, original Zoom screen, I don't have it. So that is what's throwing me off. I don't like oh, it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I see the live YouTube screen with me and you on it. Yeah. Oh, see, you don't mind, but it's 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 making me bananas. So <laughs> <laughs> I guess because I want to have every, I want to be in control. I know, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's not happening with the technology. It's like, no, you gotta dance to my tune. Okay, so um, go ahead, show us what. Okay, I'll show you a couple of pieces. This is a jacket we have. It's like a puppy sleeve. Puppy sleeves are the new, it's new, it's in now. Uh, and it got the studs on it. Okay. Um, two piece set. Okay. It's a cute spring, spring wear. Okay. I, did you, I think you had some, I'm not sure, but I like it. <laughs> you have so many things that I like, and the colors are very. I try to do colorful stuff. I got shoes, booties, um, and you do. Oh, you have shoes too. Okay, I did see some of these items model and um, sandals. Yeah. So everybody, I mean, you should go to her website. Is how did you say it's Wanye? Mm -hmm. Wanye boutique.com yeah okay I, okay you remember seeing that like the whole outfit um, yeah and i guess it's i have small through 3x um i carry anywhere from small to 3x um so i do have plus size 
it's not as wide wide range as the uh, uh, small through large, but I do carry up to three X in a lot of things. Um, yep. So I try to cater to all sizes, all demographics. Uh, you know, everybody. This came from Swaye. She's mm -hmm. on the website. <laughs> I could never understand when you go to a lot of retailers, they don't have the plus sizes. How do you not cater to plus sizes? A lot you of us are plus size or borderline. <laughs> oh, you know that's true. <laughs> we come in all shapes and sizes, and we don't have money to spend. We all have to wear cute outfits. Exactly. So, yeah, you don't want to miss out. Yep. But a lot of them, you can't find anything. Yeah. So. Yeah, I try to, I I mean, it is a little difficult because I like to literally, I be on the web, my vendor sites, literally all night looking. So I try to do something that complements them too. You know what I mean? The um, plus size. So every, every, every outfit ain't for everybody. So I try mm -hmm. to um, handpick those. I don't have a, I have a lot of things that I'm looking for uh, plus size for uh, summer. So I've been looking into that that lately, but I definitely have plus size. I definitely have it on my website. Look on the Swanye Plus Beauties, um, and you'll find those. It's up one X to three X in most cases. Okay, mm -hmm. and I know sometimes I've seen you um, looking for models. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen you looking for models too to uh, model the different outfits that you have. And just as you said, the different outfits to complement, you know. Different size, size. Right. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, I always tell people, I like to be realistic. I'm, I don't want to always just, I, I mean, I have a model on my website. She's a small girl, but I also have me on there on some of because I'm a little thick. So I like, to, I like people to see it on curvy people. Because they don't never know. They see it on a size three. Okay, yes, everybody think everything look good on small people. But no, you know, sometimes it takes the curves to fill out the outfit. <laughs> so yeah. I, that's why I, I don't like being on my website. I don't like taking pictures. People probably think I do, but I don't. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't like taking pictures. <laughs> Uh, so I try to put me on there because I'm curvy. So I want everybody to see all different shapes, sizes. Everybody's mm -hmm. beautiful, no matter what size. And you can wear what you want to wear. <laughs> I believe that. I believe that. And I'm, I'm happy that you said that, too. Um, everyone's beautiful, no matter the size. Mm -hmm. And, you, you know, wear what you want to wear. And definitely you want to. I like to see the realistic sizes, as you said. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, everybody's not. Uh, size zero and nor should anybody nor should everybody be a zero, zero and right. I, I, I too thought that well you're small you can wear anything but, but that's not true so. no look no some of it some of it is made for the curvy of people <laughs> certain pieces I think is made for curvy women um, but yeah, I try to do it for all sizes, shape sizes, uh, different styles, you know, more, more so the fashion for trendy styles. Um, everybody these days watch TV reality shows. So a lot of them look at what they have on. So I try to pick those things as well. Um, I just try to do a variety of things. Mm -hmm. So yeah. now, um, well, I, I mean, for people in the fashion industry, such as you, um, you're still going to have that, that summer and spring line. How, how are you going to do that? Um, well, I started ordering summer stuff. I think I've got a couple of maxi dresses going on. Um, spring, I really did. I, I kind of dipped into spring, but it was like this pandemic started. So I just started immediately looking for summer stuff. Cause I'm like, okay, maybe by the time we go outside, uh, it'll be just in time for the spring. I mean, the summertime, and we, uh, uh, they already be prepared and ready. But um, for for the summer, I'm trying to do a lot of sun dresses, maxi dresses. Um, I had a couple of shorts. I already got a couple of items for the summer already on my website. Um, okay. So I'm trying to cater to everybody needs. I get requests. Like people inbox me, 
text me something and say, can you get this? Can you uh, have some of uh, these type of items? And I'll get them more, for the most part. Um, I'll go to my mm-hmm. vendor sites and uh, look for what they're looking for because I prefer to have items that everybody want than not want in my boutique. <laughs> so oh, I'm, always yeah, trying to, I'm always trying to cater um, to me. Yeah. You froze. Uh oh, I can't hear you now. Okay. My audio's can, yeah. going bad. Okay. You can hear me? Okay. okay. All right. Here we go. What? I was like, <laughs> I had my own uh, YouTube. That wouldn't be right. I mean, yeah, my YouTube Zoom. Me and my bright ideas. This is what happened. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we were talking about, oh, you were saying that you try to have things that people would be more likely to to want to order. Yeah. And I love maxi dresses. And um, you said you have some things on the website. So I'm definitely going to head over there and have a look. But you know what? You could, well, every people are doing everything. You could definitely do your virtual uh, fashion show. <laughs> You're absolutely right. I never thought of that. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, you could do it. And you know, we'll be on there looking. <laughs> and yeah, I may have to definitely look into that. Do a virtual fashion show. <laughs> <laughs> And um, I guess you could do it however you want, um, Facebook Live or any of them. Yeah, I just hate videos, me and them. <laughs> oh, well. I hate the videos, but right, and now something that I, I should I, I need to think about do it for a virtual fashion show. Yeah. And with social distancing, right? So you know, we can, you know, you can have people come in. And do it, I guess, unless you do some crazy thing like I'm doing Zoom. And- <laughs> yeah, it's a Zoom fashion show. A lot of my friends, they have a lot of my pieces. I always tell them they can be my models. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and have them hop in there and do this, uh, you know, model some of the outfits. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I'm, I'm just saying, because people are, we're just trying to do the best that we can. Yeah, and everybody's scared, and I understand. You know, everybody's taking... Pre- uh precautions you know that's why i said um i've been shipping orders but it's not like i was you know because nobody really going anywhere but some people been ordering just you know when they do go outside but um and i also was offering uh pickup and delivery Uh, and i had a couple of pickups but we was definitely six feet from each other (laughs) it was like it was a task but you know i didn't have some pickup some people to pick up some items uh but this is a it's kind of hard because like I said I prefer to do the vendor shows and pop-up shops because yeah they get to see it they get to see the um try it on you know what I mean so it's a little it's a it's challenging a little um with the website because it's hard to get people to go to their website for some odd reason they want to mm-hmm. They'll text me, inbox me. Oh. I'm like, you got to go to the website. You got to put your order in. So I'm trying to get them to go to the website more. Well, maybe. I know people used to tell me, just put the link on everything. You know, right. on Facebook or wherever you are uh, promoting it. Just mm-hmm. put the link. And, and people can just click the link. And it right. seems like that has worked a lot for just to get people to watch the show. But then once they come in, to watch the show they don't like click like they don't subscribe so i guess it's just a a thing where you just have to get people used to it mm-hmm. and just have to kind of wait it out yeah yeah, yeah. But yeah I, I, understand. Understand. I said i'm that's gonna be my goal working on more 
getting my business out there, advertising, people visiting the website. Um, Cause I get it. You know, it's a slow motion type of thing. Right. But eventually they, it catches on. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So yeah, if you can do that um, or you can do your web, do your web, do your, uh, a virtual show um, onto um, Instagram, mm -hmm. YouTube, you know, so a lot more people can see you. And I know you, I had saw, it looks like you got quite a few people shopping with you already. But as you said, um, this, this pandemic slowed everything down. Yeah, it has. Yeah. So hopefully when we get out of this soon, I'll be back out there doing uh, vendor events. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, did you, um, were you able to uh, hook up to some of those small uh, business like loans or grants or whatever they are? Now, I know for a lot of people, myself included, thinking about getting a loan to continue the business. I mean, that would not look attractive to me and i can see if if there were money that you know was given to you maybe with zero interest or right. something like that but you know who wants to get in more debt right know? that's what that's how i feel like no i would like at this like maybe if i had a brick a brick and mortar store i would probably need it that long <laughs> but yeah. since it's online i don't have overhead like that and so I'm at like a standstill, even standstill. So right now I wouldn't even, you know, because I do get a little sales here and there. So it's and I'm able to continue to order. I still been ordering new things. Um, Your name I get like a sale. Yeah. Yeah. It's so funny. I get like a, a quarantine sale, thirty percent off my entire website for a couple of weeks, two weeks. I did that, and that's where my sales come. I notice when I do a big sale like that, I get more and more people to visit my site and more sales. So I'm going to start doing more and more um, more and more sales and promotions on my website these next uh, few months while we're going through this pandemic. Right. Now, did you, when you had more, when you had sales like that before the pandemic, did you, were people more likely to get in there and shop at that yeah. time? Well, it had just happened. I had just launched my website like literally a week or two, two weeks prior, prior to this. Yes, so yeah. the first two weeks, of course, is new. My supporters, family, friends, they on the website. I was getting orders. Um, right. But then this happened. So it went like from orders coming in to slowly coming in. Like I get a few orders a week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but I think if this pandemic didn't happen. I definitely think the orders would have been at a nice little amount because as as uh, I go out to uh, the vendor events and pop-up shops, I would have got more and more people passing business cards out more. I don't go out too often now, so I'm not able to pass out my flyers or business cards. Um, so that made a big uh, made it a big standstill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there, um, I don't know. I mean, just online i kind of see different uh business people on there and on linkedin to where they are having kind of like these virtual networking kind of things so that the ladies or and men could get together and kind of tell each other you know what we're doing and share right. and maybe collaborate a little bit so that everybody can still kind of still move around a little bit and get to mm -hmm. know who's out there and what yeah. what doing yeah i noticed they're doing a lot a lot of online webinars and stuff right. with the too all type of stuff i've been seeing it for all business online lately uh since this happening so that's a good thing i'll be looking at some i said i was gonna look into more of them and uh they have all type of business networking for small business what right. they can do during this time yeah so that's a, always a plus that we can do so yeah, yeah i'm gonna start looking right. into that more yeah. So um I was going to say something about the oh um so so you you're still working in the daytime right now too is that right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm still at my full-time job. Just work at home. Okay. So you're originally from Chicago or No, so I'm originally from Memphis, Tennessee. Okay. I moved here 18 years ago. Uh, but I, a lot of my family here, I was born here, but I okay. was raised in Memphis. Um, so I moved here about 18 years ago and I've been here since then. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. So, um, I, I mean, I, I used to ask people, <laughs> what did they do? Like their activities and stuff on a regular day, but it's like, uh, we're all stuck in the house right now. <laughs> Yeah, on a normal day. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. you, you know, you able to get out and work. Yeah, but I kind of like ask people, do they do they like to cook or you know, just your kind of things that you do when you when you manage to have some off time. Yeah. yeah, I like. I mean, I don't love to cook, but I have to cook. <laughs> so since we've been on this quarantine, I definitely been cooking more new new dishes. I've been. Um, huh. Pinterest, I didn't cook so much different stuff that I normally wouldn't cook. Uh, yeah. mm-hmm. So I've been cooking. <laughs> I've been cooking. I'm usually, I mean, I like what I normally like doing. I don't like normally being in the house. I'm always on the go. Okay. So um, rather I'm over family house, friends house, but I'm always on the go. I love, love, love traveling. So that's my number one thing to travel. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So I usually have some type of vacations up my sleeve by now. Um, but I had to cancel one. So, um, I mean, I'm a person like I, I'll stay in the house here and there, but yeah. I love shopping, of course. So I'm always either online looking at stuff for my boutique or I'm out in the stores just looking around. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's work. Yeah. Wow. So you actually had to cancel a uh, trip. Yeah, it was my class reunion, my 20 year class reunion. Hmm. Well, I was planning to go to Vegas. I was like, it was all in my mind. I had everything planned out. And uh, my son said, well, I don't think don't buy that ticket. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, what? I we know. should buy the ticket. <laughs> so. I know. We all here just, I say summer is canceled. I've been telling people summer canceled. <laughs> no, it's not. it's not canceled. I'm I, looking I think, forward to wearing some of my clothes, my boutique pieces. I'm like, I'm so disappointed about that. Because that's how I do it. I get a lot of sales too. I wear a lot of my stuff out in public and I always get compliments and boom, maybe mm-hmm. say this come from my boutique. I get on my cart and that's how I build report too. So all of all of this was happening is taking a, a toll on it because that's how a lot of my advertising was uh in person um so right hopefully yeah. one day we'll get back to norm we will because i know um uh, today i think i heard is being extended to may 30th for i guess most things and yeah and some like some businesses are able to they're going to allow them to open up a little bit but i yeah. did think it included small business as well oh okay yeah yeah let's open up and i guess you know they still got restrictions about how many people that people you should allow look, in at yeah. one time yeah yeah still probably have to be cautious gloves uh mask i'm sure that mm-hmm. but yeah but I don't want to rush it either. I mean, I want to get back out there, but I don't want it to be rushed because I just want this whole thing to go away and stay away. So I don't want it to, you know, it going away and then boom, we all get back out there all in a rush and then a bunch of other people start getting sick. So I'm just praying that don't happen. Right. I know. I was thinking about that same thing. They were saying in the fall or winter, it may come back. So wow. yeah, it'd be better to go slow yeah 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 okay so yeah so summer is not canceled you can still (laughs) (laughs) you can still dress up and put on your cute things because my uh, little granddaughter told my son that they better not um still be quarantining all the way to to the end of july (laughs) because her birthday i know my son's birthday is monday (laughs) Oh, yeah, so, yeah, it was his 13th birthday, his official teenager birthday. Oh, so, um, yeah, I had to cancel all his little plans. Oh, my gosh. Well, so we be in the house. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've seen people trying to, you know, recreate that, too. And, mm-hmm. and done, you know, online virtual parties. So, yeah, Zoom. Bar- I've been to a, I did a Zoom party about two weeks ago it was it was nice fun we've been doing um my family we've been doing a virtual zoom bingo on friday oh my god <laughs> so 
like a lot of fun. Yeah, so they, we've been making the best of it. Uh, so he could have did his own. My son, so I don't know, like he likes to be in action. Like I don't think he'll appreciate the video Zoom party. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. But, that's hard. That's hard. But I know like for little girls, they can do it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. She they do that anyway. So right. FaceTime and all day anyway. <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. But I think the this party thing she is not trying to hear. So oh uh, I yeah. hope we are. I mean I definitely want to see the summer now. I I've been praying. So I want to see the summer. I want to be able to get out here with my dresses, my sundresses, go to day parties. I want to do all that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm looking forward to uh, wearing the dresses and all that. Because last summer, that's most of what I had was dresses. And I was thinking about that. I'm like, hey, it's time to take out some of those summer spring dresses. Mm -hmm. So it looks like the weather is going to hold up. Yeah. But we just got to get this, this pandemic you know yeah so. we do i i yeah. believe we're gonna get through it it's just it's going in slow motion mm-hmm yeah right i'm holding out for all gotta get on the same page like everybody have to take it serious oh that is true yeah. now that part that yeah, we can joke and kid around like you're saying but the seriousness of it is real so, oh yeah i lost a family member from it uh two weeks ago Oh, wow. And I, I have my, my auntie, I have an aunt that she's in a, currently in a hospital, uh, sick on a ventilator and everything. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it's definitely real, definitely serious. I wish people take it more serious um, mm -hmm. because it's never going to end if they don't take it serious and stop going outside for no reason. And, you know, anybody could be a carrier. Anybody can have it, but don't have no symptoms. And you don't know, but if we all stay in shelter in place, you know, as much as we can, it uh decrease the number, the cases, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think so too. And I think too, um, uh, what they were saying, if, if if we have to be close to each other for whatever reason, then wear the mask and mm -hmm. wear uh, gloves or, you know, do right. it, try to do something. And, and not only just masks, but the type of mask, because I was hearing that, um, the, you know, it should be a cotton, it should be cotton material, 100% percent cotton okay. otherwise it's, it's useless mm -hmm. so yeah because people are making all types of masks i mean from yep. all the material Mate but it, it should be 100 percent cotton and honestly i did not know that Me? but i had those other like surgical masks but so. yeah and it's hard to get a hold to you know i think it's hard to get a hold to the Pro appropriate mask so a lot of people just making them they just making them doing what they have to do making them out of whatever material um so it's just i wish they can produce more of those type of things safety uh mm -hmm. items for us yeah. so we can be able to be protected more um because it's definitely mm -hmm. a struggle to get some hand sanitizer these days <laughs> well, i haven't been able to buy hand sanitizer in since this began my sister managed to buy some from someplace, but I I just tried to make some. And then, yeah, you know, like bleach, I haven't bought bleach. Um, nope. Somebody told me where, you know, it's like if we hear about it, we call somebody and say, go get the toilet paper right now right. because we have it. <laughs> right. Exactly. It's crazy, right? It's like I've been <laughs> Amazon all month, like everything I buy from Amazon because I feel like I don't want to even go in the store with all the people. Then I get there is nothing. So right. I've been holding on, waiting on Amazon. They've been taking extremely long, normal, yeah. normal. But um, I just been doing a lot of orders on Amazon for things and making my own hand hand sanitizer. Yeah. Um, yes, I've been yeah. making it barely. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I haven't. Even on Amazon, even the stuff that I want to order, they'll say um, that you can't order it. Unavailable. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, okay, well, I guess I just have to give up. And <laughs> <laughs> right. They don't have no tissue. They ain't got no sense. Hand sanitizer. Like I've been doing like body wash, dove, stuff I run out like that. They have it. They, they may take about five days, but they have mm -hmm. stuff like that. Um, I've been trying to get little household things that I need. Yeah that I can avoid going to the store for. Um, 
so I've been ordering little things like that, but none of the soap, I mean, none of the tissue, hand sanitizer, mm -hmm. that's not available. <laughs> yeah, not on Amazon. So yeah. actually the stores are starting to have more of that. Yeah. They but it's in small supply. You better get in there and you gotta go to Daddy, pull up the truck. When the truck <laughs> delivery truck comes, gotta be out standing in front of the door. <laughs> That's what my sister told me. She said uh, that she had to ask the day and the time that they deliver so that she could be there to pick it up. So I'm like, oh my goodness, this is really something. But And then, you know, thinking about we have to deal with this all the way to the end of May. Yeah. And I, I honestly feel like it's going to take time for people to, to to feel comfortable again, not to the point of not being on guard, but they're going to still hoard because Mm -hmm. They're going to be feeling like, I don't know. I don't know. This might not be, you know. Yeah, that's how it's going to be. It's still going to, it's going to take a minute for the mm -hmm. stuff to go back to norm. You know what I mean? Whether we're able to go back outside or not. I just think everybody is going to be really cautious about everything, which is a good yeah. thing. But it's just, I want it to be back to norm, norm. <laughs> you know, I don't want to feel like, oh, I, every time I go somewhere, I got to make sure I have my gloves and mask and my purse. Um, I mean, that's not the normal, walking around with mask on. Yeah, and yeah, because this morning I, I left was, or the day before I left out for work and I forgot my mask mm -hmm. and I really kind of panicked. And I was thinking, I got to yeah. go back. I got to go back. I can't, this is not something that you could just walk out and say, oh, I don't need it. Right. Yeah. I, I, don't worry about it. No, you can, You got to worry about it. <laughs> Yeah, you do. Wow. Well, okay. Um, I've kept you on almost an hour mm -hmm. and I truly appreciate having you here. And uh, I really want to see you do that virtual fashion show or however you want to, however you want to call it, pop up, whatever, so that yeah. you know what you have. So I'm going to have to write that down and work on that. That's going to be my next plan. Good idea. <laughs> If we could come sit in with our cocktails. I know, right? We can have a fashion show. Fashion show party. BYOB. Bring your own BYOW. Bring your own wine. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, because wine makes everything better. Uh-huh. But yeah, that's a good idea. Right. Good idea. Okay, um, everybody remember Swanye Boutique dot com. And that's uh, S O I G N E Vogue Boutique.com is one long word. Mm -hmm. And um, check out her fashions. I guarantee you're going to buy something. And plus, I want to ask do you um, have swimsuits or anything like that? Do you no, I was going, I'm looking into swimwear, but I got to I gotta decide if the summer going to go on. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I was <laughs> definitely looking into swimsuit. So I had all the plans for them because I was going on vacations this summer, but I probably still get some uh, swimwear in. But yep, that is something yeah. definitely Swing Vogue Boutique will have. <laughs> yeah, 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 just a couple. Just, yeah. you know, yeah. just in case, because, you know, in Chicago, well, people going on vacation, that's different. You know, they can go where it's hot. Because right. Chicago, you can't count on it being hot enough uh, yeah. till the end of July. A month or two, we get some heat. But yep, I'm definitely going to um, have swimwear. Yeah, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. All right, and um, again, for this show is Shy Panther Media at Gmail. Shy Panther, one word, S-H-Y-P-A-N-T-H-E-R Media at Gmail. Reach out, reach out to us, let us know what you think about the show. And if you happen to be watching on this show, uh, I forgot to ask that you share, like, and subscribe uh, because I was fidgeting around with it, but that's okay. I'm going to do that probably every single show. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's just the way it is. And thank you guys so much for tuning in with us. And we will see you. I believe I have somebody scheduled for Wednesday. We're going to come on Wednesday and Thursday. So we'll be back. At the same time, uh, YouTube Live and on Shy Panther and Friends show. Thank you. And everybody, take care of yourselves. Uh, take care of your neighbor. And God bless. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you, Keisha. You're welcome. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.